What do you get when you cross Legend of Zelda with Quentin Tarantino? According to CNET Game Center, you get Grand Theft Auto. Yes, the original Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> so today I'm actually going to be installing Grand Theft Auto on my Windows 95 machine. And I might, if I have any issues, I might install it on my Windows 98 machine too. My IBM NetVista Pentium 3 machine. You want to see how that runs? Have you ever seen Grand Theft Auto, the original one before, before it got all fancy in 3D? Well, if you haven't, check it out. If you have, follow me through this adventure. Stay tuned. So it's funny. Um, yeah, this is the original box. I got this one. This is my original copy. I got it the same year I got Half-Life, actually. <laughs> two big games yeah so there's some uh interesting quotes they have on the box but this game rocks from game fan online grand theft auto is the new bad boy of computer games cnninteractive.com i don't know what the old bad boy was maybe doom uh a mission-based crime sim original and uncensored warning you must be 17 or older to play this game it packs a surprisingly addictive experience and a tremendous number of uh, gameplay hours. Next generation. Love it. Love that. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty interesting. The box definitely gets you kind of uh, bought into it. I mean, it shows you a few of the screenshots of the top-down um, helicopter view, satellite view, as you will. And um, I thought it was it was kind of a interesting box of course to get you and they got the logo with the blood splatter on that um but yeah so this this game uh let's see the minimum requirements minimum it requires a pentium 75 megahertz processor with 16 megabytes of ram and 80 megabytes of hard drive space um yeah we got this it also says any sound card and any sound card that's that's fine um <laughs> of course uh you could have a joystick or pad you could have an ipx protocol network uh yeah sure i mean you could you could do some local area network play you could do some play over the phone let's go ahead and switch to the gopro and pc capture view so i've got my gopro capturing footage right from my Trinitron CRT monitor, but I also have a capture card uh, that is connected to the computer so that we can capture it in all of its glory. But let's do a quick unboxing here. So it came in this little cardboard sleeve. Let's see on the interior, we've got the disc, it's jewel case right here. And what else we got? I'm gonna be opening up from the side here because there's some paper goodies in there. I don't think I've got everything in there, but it's got the uh, the game manual, of course. Everything you need to know about um, playing the game and, uh, you know, the different areas and whatnot. Limited warranty. It's got all the music credits in there as well. So this game was actually, because there was no licensed music in there, there was actually a bunch of different, uh, they, they basically hired a bunch of musicians and, and, uh, they actually, I mean, they, they did license, obviously, some um, some music for the game, but it's it's interesting because, kind of like the other Grand Theft Autos, you have different radio stations that you can listen to with, um, with made-up stuff. And they really didn't have any kind of, like, you know, big names in there. I mean, I'd probably have to, to go through here and see if there's actually anybody that's um, that I recognize. I'm sure they're all really good musicians in their own right, but um, it wasn't any like top 40. Uh, let's just say that. Uh, it also tells you, you know, how to how to play multiplayer. Um, they tell you a little bit more about the controls, maybe some um, some notes and some in, uh, installation troubleshooting if you wanted to install it either in Windows or in DOS. Yeah, so around that time, I mean, DOS is still still big. And a big part of Windows. Right. But here's the cool part. It comes with maps. And unlike the newer Grand Theft Auto games, it came with maps 
and the cities of all three cities. You have a map and the game city of Liberty City right here. It tells you exactly where it's like a tourist map. It tells you where all the different uh, hospitals are in um, spray and pays. Uh, tells you all the different um, all different boroughs. So you have Liberty City. You also have San Andreas. Yep. You have San Andreas. Guess what you also have? You guessed it. Vice City. So you have all three cities that you get to unlock and play. Now, granted, again, it, this is like, I mean, it's relatively smaller than the Vice City and Liberty City and everything that you're used to. But, I mean, this is the original game, and it's got three full cities with traffic, with cars, with pedestrians. Um, pretty awesome stuff. So... They give you the maps right away, so right away they're 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 setting the gold standard for the future releases. You got the great music, you got the maps. Uh, now let's go ahead and get to get to it, right? Let's get to installing Grand Theft Auto. So go ahead and take this out, pop the CD in. And by the way, this was actually made by um, a company called DMA Designs. Uh, now it's you probably recognize Rockstar, but DMA actually basically went in and was, um, I don't want to say bought out, maybe they were bought out, um, but basically they're, they're kind of the, the precursor to modern day rock star. Uh, so yeah, it was kind of an interesting history there that I'm not going to be covering today <laughs> because I'm not, I'm not really, uh, I mean, I'm kind of a little bit of a historian, but um, there's definitely a lot more videos out there that cover the history of Grand Theft Auto in way deeper context than than I could ever do justice. All right, so it's doing the autoplay. I'm gonna let me go ahead and close out these other windows here. So we're doing the autoplay. Let's go ahead and hit install. Of course, that's what we're all here about, right? Install. And I'm not sure if you actually need the disc in the drive i'm pretty sure it might give us some different install options so we'll see what happens and also just to note you'll see kind of a delay between a slight delay between between the capture card and the, the video camera so all right i strongly recommend that you exit all their windows yada 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 protected by copyright law yeah don't unauthorize don't don't distribute in an unauthorized manner so it's going to try to get us to install and see slash gta but like you've seen in previous install videos i like to put everything that's games related in the games folder c games folder and the reason i do that i may have explained it before but uh when i'm actually it was kind of an old habit when i was when i was growing up and we were playing games off of dos it was just faster and easier to type in c games and then go into the games folder. The shorter the directory name, the, the the better. Plus, there was no at that time we we didn't really put stuff in program files or programs or anything like that. I mean, you could, but games always had its own games folder. At least uh, that's what that's what I did. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Yes, I want to create this folder. All right. So yes, create the folder. Let's go to C Games GTA. All right. Grand Theft Auto is set to begin. It requires 80 megabytes of free space on a drive. Your computer will be checked, and DirectX 3A will be installed if required. So, yeah, let's go ahead and install it it's right through here. It's going to be, yep, checking the version. There we go. Yep, all right. So, might take a minute because it's got to check the version against what's on the computer and whatnot. But, yeah, so the original Grand Theft Auto was definitely one of my favorites. So Grand Theft Auto, the original one, was, was a game that I actually played quite a bit. I played that, um, again, like I said, I got it the same year I got Half-Life. And... <laughs> 
I pl- those two games I played extensively, and one of my good friends that lived right around the corner from me, he also played Grand Theft Auto. So it was at that time, uh, I I wasn't technically old enough, according to the warnings, to play the game, but I uh, had a lot of fun with it, and we we both played games. Uh, uh, we both played GTA extensively, and we. We're able to successfully do a modem to modem connection call. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing back then at all, and we were able to play a uh, a game across this, you know, basically down the street over the phone line. Um, it was really terrible, very laggy, but it worked, and it was really exciting. And man, we were really just. It was funny because we would we were so into Grand Theft Auto at the time that we were kind of dreaming up of you know what the new Grand Theft Autos would look like and I would say the the closest thing to what we were dreaming up of Grand the newest Grand Theft Autos and what the like with with all the different you know crime and and cool things that you could do in the game like running around and doing things like that I would say probably um GTA San Andreas was probably the closest one with bicycles and, um, you know, eating too much and <laughs> get, getting getting larger, working it off, um, things like that. So that, I guess for the gameplay mechanics, it eventually came true with with uh, San Andreas. But, all right, so it has finished installing. Um, I'm gonna say let's let's try to to run it without restarting the computer. I usually restart the computer when when we finish but i'm gonna say no we'll try it out all right so gave us grand theft auto it's got a little icon there with the american flag on it of course uninstall and then we've got grand theft auto 95 uh grand theft auto settings you should be able to run it either way i bel- i want to say this is running it off of dos mode which depending on the computer could run better um, doesn't really, I don't think it really matters too much, but let's go on uh, the settings, right? So, okay. So not too many settings in this game. Turn left, turn right, run forward, run backward, break, attack, next weapon, blah, 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 blah. special, which is, uh, I'll show you what special is in a minute. <laughs> um, and then you can, you can switch it off. You can switch it to the sidewinder game pad as well. So you could set the controls to the Sidewinder gamepad. Well, that would be uh, that'd be something like this: the Sidewinder gamepad, um, precursor to the Xbox controller made by Microsoft. It felt really, really good to control. Um, they made USB versions, but this is this is definitely not a USB version. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the Sidewinder gamepad that you could use in Grand Theft Auto if you wanted to. But we're going to be using old mouse and keyboard. In this case, it'll be mostly keyboard. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And let's run Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto, you gotta make a mark and move where you want to. Deep, that, 
nation To steal what you can and run from the nation Hey, hey, what do you say? We automate a secret to speed from our getaway Take it to the edge, there's nowhere to hide And call up the boy, let's go for the joy line Oh man Absolutely classic Absolutely classic <laughs> Um, so yeah Let's go ahead and see if I can change some options here. You can do fast or slow text mode, and the text mode is basically just on-screen text. Uh, radio or constant music mode. So radio would be like if you were to jump into a car, and then it would only play the music in the car, or constant like it's just on. Um, transparency effects on. Yeah, so let's save it. Now let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit play. It's playing the radio now. Okay. Yep. Let me turn it down a little bit. Okay. So one thing I liked about this game as well is that in order to enter in certain cheat codes, you would enter in the cheat codes at the name screen. So basically you would enter in your name as the cheat code, and then you would just you know, like go back erase the name and enter in the next cheat code um i'm trying to remember there's there's a few of them let me see if i can if i can remember uh let's see oops uh rename be it's gallus and i'm just doing this off of memory um uh, let's see uh suck my rocket Um, heart of gold. I think some of these unlock the different cities and stuff. Um, I don't remember anything else. Uh, I'm sure there's a few other ones. Yep, I unlocked the different cities. <laughs> um... Let's start with Liberty City. Why not? So I'm going to turn up the audio. So for some reason, I wasn't getting any of the um, any of the sound effects. Let me try regular Grand Theft Auto. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, configure network, configure sound details. Ah, that's what it was I was looking for. Okay, so I did, um, I set Sound Blaster compatible. I was wondering why the audio wasn't working very well. Um, digital audio, so let's do, let's do done. Um, so this is where we could configure a network game if we wanted to. We could do, um, modem link, which I think that's what, what, what my friend and I did. Uh, IPX network, serial, none. So I'm going to go back. Now let's do, let's do run a game. Let's see if there's any difference in the audio. Because again, I, I thought I remembered in the intro with the DMA designs, the logo, stuff like that, there was actually sound and stuff there. There wasn't just the music in the menu. And plus there's normally like back-end music in the streets and um, yeah, so let's try it out. Um, let's do 3DFX, see what happens. Nope, still nothing. Yeah, let's try a different audio setting. Sound. It's got Sound Blaster compatible, which is fine. Um, which is what's what's in there. Uh, sound Bla Let's try Sound Blaster Pro. Yeah, maybe that'll work better because I'm pretty sure I do have. Well, I've got an AWE uh, 32. Let's see if that. And 3D effects. Yeah. 
see if that works. No. Still nothing. You usually get audio through here. That's kind of disappointing. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, so this is Grand Theft Auto on Windows 95 using my Sound Blaster sound card. We got, yeah, we got the radio station playing. Hop down view. Oh yeah. Whoops. We got a machine gun. I can get out. And of course with the machine gun I can shoot cars. I can hear some of the background noise. Uh, the different radio stations. That's funny. Yeah, it, it performs pretty well. I mean, it, it goes beyond the minimum requirements for um, all that, all the, you know, the, the processor and everything. A get out of jail free card. All right, here's a motorcycle. Man, these graphics. Oh, I just tumbled off the motorcycle and rolled off, rolled under the car. Oh, there's a cop. He didn't care. Um, but yeah, this one, I think it's because the sound card that's in there. I'm missing a lot of the other audio components. I'm missing the sound effects, the gunshots, people screaming, you know, all the, the extra stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and install this on my Windows 98 machine, Pentium 3. Nope, so my IBM NetVista that has a Pentium 3, it's got 383 megabytes of RAM. It's also got a Creative Sound Blaster 16 Live. So a little bit newer of a card, of course, than what's in here. The live cards were a bit newer than the um, AWE 32, which is a, an I, what, what they call an ISA card. That's one reason I specifically put it in this machine is because it's, a, it's bigger than a PCI card slot. It's an older card slot, but it's compatible a bit more with older DOS games and older games. So games on this threshold, I'm kind of, you know, I think that's, that's why we're having, I haven't, I haven't tweaked any of the drivers or anything, any of those settings yet, but I think that's why out of the box we're having the issue where we're not hearing the different audio cues and sound effects when it's playing the CD audio just fine, but that's, that's as of expected because it's, you know, it's working fine. So let me go ahead and pop this disc in my Windows 98 machine and let's check it out. Let's go ahead and sh switch it over. All right, we're booting up the Windows 98 machine. It's been a minute since I've been on it, so I'm, I'm a little excited. Let me open up the disc drive. That's the nice thing about having multiple older machines. When one doesn't work, you can usually try another one. All right, let's go ahead and open up the disk drive. We're going to pop in the Grand Theft Auto disk into the disk drive here. Let's go ahead and install Grand Theft Auto into Windows 98 Second Edition on an IBM NetVista machine. All right, same process, same exact process. This might go a little bit faster this time, depending on the disk drive speed, which I think it is going to be a little bit faster. Again, games. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's doing a version check way quicker. Yeah, so... And just for reference, this is probably the machine that I would have probably used Grand Theft Auto on. I know 
you know, when it came out, it was 1998-ish. So a lot of people would have been either on Windows 95 or 98 at the time. And I'm, I'm pretty sure because, again, I was running Half-Life, I was running it on Windows 98. I will not restart my computer. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we got the, the DOS version right there with a 3DFX mode, which is only in DOS. And then Windows 95 version. Let's do the settings. Yep. Yeah, let's try Pro again. Yeah. Digital audio, run. Let's do 3DFX, see if that helps. There we go. We're getting the audio now. <laughs> I always found those amusing. And now, and now the, the menu music. Perfect. So I have a bit more faith that this audio card, this, you know, sound card is a bit more compatible with Grand Theft Auto. So let's go ahead and type in it's Gallus. Which I think unlocked most everything. Um, art of gold. Suck my rocket. It's funny the things that we remember. It's been years since I played this game. Um, yeah, that's all I remember. Alright, so let's try it again. There we go. Grand Theft Auto. See, that's what I'm talking about. You hear that audio? That's what I'm talking about. You hear that audio in the background? I'm actually, I'm running this in low color mode. I'll try it in high color mode in a minute, but for some reason, uh, low color mode made everything work. And it might just be a graphics driver thing. Um, I'm not sure, but everything is working. With the radio station. With the proper speed. Um, all the sound effects. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit so you can, you can hear it. the car now there's a yellow um, directional pointer oh there's a pistol I didn't pick up this is basically a Dodge Viper the controls take a little bit of a uh, little bit to get used to especially when the camera kind of zooms in and out not everybody likes that that's why I'm not zoomed in in the camera but oh I'm ruining this car it's actually pretty pretty easy to blow up cars in this game <laughs> and it's funny because you'll hear like um, like it's grinding and ticking I'll turn up the audio a little bit Oh, you can kind of hear it. 
You can kind of hear my car. It looks, it sounds like it's about to blow up. And it goes slow. Oh, I got a warning at the top. I got a star. Oh, this is where the map comes in helpful. Because I, I need to get down to the other part of the docks there. And I gotta go all the way around. I don't know if I'm gonna make it unless I steal another car. Let's see if I can blow this one up. Oh, is an ambulance picking somebody up? Police are after me. Mission complete. All right. Cool. So I finished. I finished a mission just by stealing a car, getting rid of some guys, and then going back and dropping the car off. As you can see, I've got a, uh, a yellow kind of like a floater icon there. It's just an, it's an arrow pointing me in the direction I gotta go. I can run anywhere I want. Got a pistol. I can push people around. And they won't fight me, but. This is their four docks in the city. Let the cranes pick up vehicles for extra points. So you can you can bring cars here and get cash. Get points. That was one of the things that... I know there's some missions about bringing specific cars there. Um, but yeah, if you bring cars there, it'll, it'll give you money. So you just steal a car. Let me see if I can grab one. Like this pickup truck. I died. <laughs> yeah, he picked up. I would have. I got points. I got points. All right, he says 30, 32, uh, 39, 20 for it. Okay, not bad. They run out of traffic. All right, let's go ahead and check this out in like a high color mode. Let's see. Which would be. Uh, GTA 8, it'd be GTA 24, I'm assuming. Okay, we get audio. We get the sound effects. Good. I'm gonna rip through this. Alright. Now this is Grand Theft Auto. Like... Like I'm used to playing it, so let me let me let you let me let you listen to it. Ah, uh, super fly guy. Oh yeah, so there, there's Grand Theft Auto in all of its glory, running around, shooting my machine gun, jumping in cars, different radio stations. Yeah, this is this is Grand Theft Auto as you want to experience it. Pistol, just kind of rolling around the city. You can stop at different telephone booths to get missions. 
And this one does not have a mission, but if I follow the yellow arrow that's kind of come up like this, then you can get to different missions. And you'll see the pager pop up on the top left that will supply you with some missions as well. Camera's a little janky, but you get kind of used to it. Get out of jail free card. Yeah. Alright, let's check out another city. Let's check out Vice City. Yep, instantly you get different trees, different tile style, slightly different cars, different colors generally of cars. You get some different models, variations as well. But yeah, the whole city is just a different layout, different missions. Ooh, let's steal this one. This one looks kind of nice. Convertible. Uh-oh, thou shalt not steal. Uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, I stole a car and they rigged it to explode. Great work. I didn't jump out in time. Alright, grab the pistol. I could just run around. And go towards the next mission if I wanted to. Oh! The monks. The Garanga monks. The Hare Krishnas. So, there's actually a, um, a hidden thing where if you grab, if you run, if you kill all the Hare Krishnas in a row, then you get a Garanga bonus. I'm not going to try it. Or am I? I'm not going to try it. Mm-mm. That's not, that's not cool. Yep, I did it. <laughs> That's, that's pretty bad. But look, you also get all fully wanted, which is super deserved. Uh-oh. I am wanted. Uh-oh. I think the military is going to come after me. Get out of jail free card? What? Can I use that now? How do I use it? I think it's if they try to arrest me. Oh, roadblocks. Roadblock. Ooh, I died. Yeah, I didn't live too long. <laughs> Especially in that car. So let's check out one more city. San Andreas. Yep. City hopping. They're already directing me to my first mission point. But, as you can see, uh, different layout again. You know, completely different layout, different tile set. Uh, you've got, di you know, different variations of vehicles, different colors. Um, yeah, so it's very unique. Each city is pretty unique. I mean, given the fact that uh, what this game is. I mean, the three huge cities... Yeah, the ambulances look a little different, the cop cars look different, they're reskinned. Yeah, it's uh it's fun. It's fun to go through all three cities and um you know just go through the missions. I would say go through and unlock them if you can. Semi? Well there's a semi with bus. Can I hop off the side of here? Yep. Boom! Oh man! <laughs> I went off the side of the bridge and exploded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah, you can get flamethrowers and you can get, you know, rocket launchers and stuff. It's pretty fun. It tells you, what I like is it tells you where you're at on the top when you get to a new street. But yeah, so... Yes, of course, it is mature rated Grand Theft Auto you can run over people kill people do missions like that do anything but this is more of um 
This game is more of a mission based game where you have collateral damage, essentially. You can get more points for collateral damage. And, I mean, you've had games in the past, like Carmageddon and things like that, that are a bit more gratuitous for that type of action. And, you know, this one, this one's a bit more mission based, but yeah, it's, it's a life of crime game, sim, crime sim, basically. You select one of these and you get a mission. I have a problem to be taken care of. Go to the marina and it's more secluded there. Okay. Again, when you're done with mission, you go back to the phones. Oh, well, let me, uh, cut through here. I got a machine gun. All right. I don't know where the marina is at. I'm just, oh, I think it's, I think I'm close. Uh, yeah. Let me hop out of my car here. Oh, I'm stuck. Maybe I'm not close. <laughs> no. Usually the, the closer you are, the the less that the arrow, or the more that the arrow moves when you're going opposite the direction. Oh, wait a minute, I'm near water. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm close. What? Oh, am, where am I going, this way? Okay, I'm going this way. Aha, picking up a phone call there. Pong's dead, we must recover his car and its cargo. Find the police car. Oh, I'm wanted already, so let's just find a police car. Uh, usually if I lay low, it'll, I'll be fine, but... Or you can go by a police station and get a, get a parked cop car. That's usually what you'd probably do. Church bus. Oh. Oh, I'm on fire. Uh. <laughs> Car blew up and I got on fire. Great. I like how it usually spawns you next to a crate with a gun in it. Which makes it easy to pick up and start going. Alright, I'm going to enter in debug mode. I looked up... I looked up a cheat. Now let's go back to Vice City and then... Let's see. Try to remember how you cycle through weapon. Okay. All right. So let's check out. Let's check out some of these weapons. I couldn't. I couldn't play Grand Theft Auto and not show you some of the weapons. Got the rocket launcher. Ooh, yeah, that was my favorite. Oh, I'm on fire now. I'm on fire. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's do all weapons again. And then you got all right, rocket launcher. Again, I'm on fire. That's so easy to get splash damage. <laughs> That's life of crime, right? All right. Uh, so rocket launcher. That's fun because, again, you can, like... Just shoot it at buildings, shoot it out, off in a distance, and then you'll hit random things sometimes. And then if you want to cause absolute chaos, there you go. Um, we got flamethrower. 
Oh, yeah, again, you can easily blow up cars and it, it just kills you. <laughs> um, I think I enabled coordinates. C. Yep, I enabled it. There's no way to disable it. That's cool. All right, let's get all weapons. So, yep, yeah, you get just a few weapons. You got pistol, machine gun, rocket launcher, flamethrower. So that's all you really need, though. I feel like you don't need... Hey, what are you doing? You know, you, you got you got the classics. Again, you can just run around flamethrowing people and stuff. Of course. Like a... You know, as a kid, this was fun. <laughs> I mean, granted, the newer ones are pretty fun, too. And it, it's... Oh, there you go. Like that. Oh, they can shoot you and they can arrest you. So if they arrest me, there you go. I'm arrested. Uh, and they they tell you <laughs> they tell you what your stats are when you get arrested. Um, yeah. Machine guns a bit more. Oh boy, a bit more subtle. But anyways, yep. So those are the weapons. And there, are, yeah, there are a lot more cheat codes. You can play. You can do cheat codes on PlayStation. You can do them on PC. Um, good stuff. Infinite money, infinite lives. No police. Show all cutscenes. More swearing, less swearing, things like that. So, yeah. So this game, this game's really fun. I really enjoy. I really enjoyed the original Grand Theft Auto, and I think it's it's kind of hard to recommend now. I I really enjoy. It. I think if you want to play it from like a historical lens and see what it's all about, uh, you might enjoy it. Um, it's kind of harder en to enjoy after Grand Theft Auto Three came out. To, let's be honest, because. Grand Theft Auto 3 was a lot more accessible for more people. That was the one that really kind of jumped off the... It leapt off the screen for a lot of people. And really, you know, captured their imagination and hit mainstream. The first two games and London Edition mod didn't really... It wasn't... I mean, it was popular, but it wasn't... I wouldn't say mainstream. It wasn't huge at that time. It was on major platforms on PC, PlayStation, Dreamcast for the for Grand Theft Auto 2, but I don't think it was it was as big of a game until 3 came out. Now, um what's great about the original Grand Theft Auto, especially back in the day, a lot of cheat codes, a lot of a lot of different places you can go. Like I said, there's, you know, you have three different cities there's different cars in each city there's different missions in each city um you know you get a lot of different points one of the things that was really appealing back then and i think there you might be able to find it now is there's there used to be a lot of different mods that you can install um think of different cars there was different um builders mod managers and in and, and car builders and stuff like that so you could build your own vehicles i mean there were there's different military bases in the game with tanks that you could steal and become instantly wanted a lot of really fun stuff a lot of little easter eggs and bonus items and things like that so do i recommend playing grand theft auto yes i do um, I would say personally, the PC version is, is awesome, is good. It's a little bit harder to find. Um, I probably would not play the original version, the box version, just because for most people, just because there's a lot of variables when you install it. I mean, this kind of goes with older games anyways, you're installing on older hardware. Um, you're kind of, it's kind of a crapshoot if things will work properly or if all the sound and audio and everything will will line up it's easier on something like a virtual machine um, dos box stuff like that highly recommend it if you can get another version out there then definitely pick it up so i just checked and at rockstargames.com you used to be able to download a free version of the original grand theft auto 
you would have to tweak it a little bit because it'd run really fast, but it's not available there anymore. Um, I'm not, it's not on GOG. I'm not sure of a good legal way of finding this game. I would say, you know, if you really, uh, if it really came down to it, um, and you wanted to hit the secondhand market, I mean, you can definitely get the original disc online and then put it in an emulator, put it in a DOS box type thing or other type of source like that DOS box it. So you can get, you can tweak the, the combination that have the right combination of, uh, emulated hardware to get the output that you want. Another way is get the original PlayStation version. Um, that one's really good too, especially with the controller. Um, I prefer the PC version just because again, with everything that came with, and it's the version that I grew up with, but I would say the original Grand Theft Auto is definitely worth playing. It's, it's fun, but if you're want, if you want to compare it to something like Grand Theft Auto three, Vice City, the newer releases, it's not, it's not on the same level at all. Uh, you know, you, you, you may not appreciate the original one. I'll just be, I'll just be honest with you because of the top down view. Um, some people think that the game, the gameplay is kind of limited in that regard. Um, the camera is a little bit awkward, but it, it is a definitely a good shot of nostalgia. Um, so definitely check it out in some regard. I wouldn't put too much money into it, but if you wanted to see where the origins of Grand Theft Auto were, check out the first one. The second one's good as well. It's a little bit different. Uh, the gameplay style is very same, but it's, you get that kind of like that retro modern futuristic um, art style. It's kind of interesting. Um, and then there's also the different gang territory mechanics that, that they introduce in the second one, along with some other, you know, fake music and whatnot. But it's definitely an interesting game, some cool lighting that they do in the second one. But yeah, uh, GTA 1 on Windows 95 and Windows 98 for me ended up being the winning combination was on Windows 98 with my compatible graphics card and sound card and everything like that. I'm sure if uh, if I spent a bit longer on the Windows 95 version or even the 98 version, I'd get it to run a little bit smoother. But I'm just I wanted to install it out of the box and see if I could get it up and running as quick as possible, and we got it. So thank you so much for checking out this video. I appreciate it. Check out the previous install videos that I've got for installing older games. I've got some future ones coming up. And I've also got a video about the uh, just kind of running through the different copies of Grand Theft Auto that I have in a brief history of Grand Theft Auto uh, in a previous video. So go ahead and check them out. But thank you so much for dropping by. Um, have fun. Check out Grand Theft Auto and game on.